welcome back and thanks for popping in. I'm glad you're here. I'm also really excited because we're going to be opening the spring 2023 FabFit Fun Box. Before we do that though, I'm going to kind of talk about the elephant in the room. If you are here just to see the unboxing and don't want to hear this part, I'm going to put timestamps in the description box and you can skip to the unboxing. It will not hurt my feelings. Normally I jump straight into unboxings and videos, um, but today I just want to talk about this for just a minute. So if you've been following me since last January, I decided I wanted to take this really tiny room in my house and make it a filming space. So I went to TJ Maxx. I went and got some art. I got some paint. I'm actually looking at that wall right now. And I tried to make it work and it just wouldn't. I couldn't get the lighting right. I didn't love it. And so I kind of abandoned it as a filming space. However, I've kept it as my office and really, really enjoyed it. But I never gave up the idea of wanting to make this office another filming space in my house. So over the past couple of months, I've been collecting things that I really love, and this is what I came up with. Now hear me out first of all. What you're seeing behind me was originally, and probably will still eventually be the filming area. I didn't have plans to sit at my desk. I wanted to sit in this chair and unbox, and that kind of be my setup, like a cozy living room, like you're hanging out with your best friend. And I can't quite get the camera angles right, so we're gonna continue to work on that. Um, but I grabbed this really cozy chair that I love. Um, I grabbed this cabinet. I love the rattan doors. Um, I wanted a place where I could kind of showcase some of the home decor that I get from boxes. And then this piece of art is me in a piece of art. I just really love it. Now, hear me out now. This office is imperfectly perfect. When you see me in my bedroom filming, sometimes you see cords or something under the bed. Maybe there's a loose sock. I don't know. My nightstands aren't always pristine because that's who I am. I never want to give you the impression that I have it all together because girl, I do not. <laughs> And this office is not yet finished. So I wanted to kind of take you along the journey. So obviously this door is a dark brown. I need to paint it white. The crown molding is also dark brown. That needs to be painted white. Um, this used to be a wall that we actually had our handyman um, break into when my son was little. This was his nursery. And he was here till he was about six years old. And then we moved him into another room. Um, but he actually, the roof kind of goes down like a dormer. And we made a little walk-in closet. We found a lot of room behind this wall and we've got some built-in cabinets and some hanging rails. So it's now kind of a storage closet. I need to probably put a little maybe curtain over that. Um, I love to read and edit in this chair. So I'm thinking maybe like a rattan sort of floor lamp here. I'm not really sure. If you have any suggestions or you know of the perfect lamp, let me know. You can message me on Instagram. But I thought, you know what, I'm just going to show you the way that I have it now. And little by little, I'll work on it and you'll see it change along the way. Um, but I hope you like it so far. That's what it is. And now we're going to go ahead and dive into the FabFit Fun Box for spring 2023. I do have one other thing to say. If any of you are thinking, gosh, why doesn't she push the camera back so we can actually see the desk? Well, you remember in the movie Aladdin when the genie says, itty bitty living space for his little lamp? That's kind of the way I am now. This camera is about six inches from the wall. I can't push it back any further and let you see what's on the desk. We got to live with what we have, right? And be happy. And that's what we're going to do. So anyway, FabFitFun is a quarterly lifestyle subscription box. Lifestyle meaning you can get kitchen gadgets and candles skincare, jewelry, makeup, all kinds of really new and interesting things. Um, there's two ways you can subscribe. You can be a quarterly member, which is $59.99, or you can be an annual member, which is $54.99. Now, I will say I pay for this box with my own money, and it's one of the few boxes that I actually pay up front for annually. I feel like the benefits for this box annually are just too good to be true. <laughs> um, you do save a little bit of money, but you get first crack at customizations. Um, you get first crack at your box being shipped to you soon. And if you're like, how do you have that box so soon? I'm an annual member too. I actually paid the extra $15 to have it rushed to me. That's why I was able to share it with you guys. Now, what I will say about FabFitFun is they have 
every way to get every penny out of you that they possibly can. So you can customize your box, which is great. But then if you're like, gosh, I really like that other item in customization one, they let you pay for another one if it's available. So they can get you that way. Just be aware. They have an add-on shop, which the add-on shop is still open. So you can go in there and you can shop for things. And you know what? I think the stuff in the add-on shop usually is pretty darn good. You can get some great buys. Um, I promised myself I wasn't going to buy anything from the add-on shop, and I stuck to my guns with that one. But then you can boost your box. They have special items that you can have added to your box at a certain price. And then they have what they call refills. Now, hear me out. The refills are what will always keep me coming back to FabFitFun because you can get really high quality skincare, hair care, all of that for, I mean, a fraction of the price. Um, the refills are where it's at with FabFitFun, in my personal opinion. I think they do a good job, some quarters better than others, but you always far and away get your $54 or $59.99. They say it's over a $250 value. This quarter, look how cute this box is with all the cake. It's getting close to dinner time and I'm real hungry. And if this was on a plate right now, I would totally ruin my dinner for it because that's what is a perk of being an adult, right? Adorable. All right, so I'm gonna take, I actually have this propped up on another box. We're gonna push that to the side and we're going to open it up. Now I do have a discount code if you want to try FabFitFun that's gonna give you $10 off your first box, which is a pretty nice chunk. Now inside we have a couple things. I did see a little spoiler about this. I think it's like their birthday or something. I think that is what has to do with the cake, but you have this little scratch off card and it says that there are lots of different prizes. The ultimate prize is valued at over $10,000. So make sure you pull this out of your box and you play because you could be the winner. It could be anybody, you know, and then we have just some, some coupons for some bras and some hella fresh. I don't need all that. I want to get to the good stuff. All right. So as I dive in, I'm going to tell you what I got based on how the customization shook out. Okay, so the first thing I got was purely out of curiosity. It is called the Eye Lift. It's like this beauty gizmo by Lumina. Now, it's claim to fame is it heats up and it's supposed to help your products, your serums and your moisturizers penetrate deeper into your eye area. Now, I've always heard that you put cooling stuff around your eyes. As a matter of fact, this one has a metal tip which is what I love about eye primers and things. When they have a metal tip, they cool. It feels really nice. Um, and so I'm interested to see what the heat does. It's supposed to de-puff. It's supposed to help with the dark circles. It's supposed to penetrate deeper um, or help your product penetrate deeper into your eyes. So I don't know. I'm going to try this little gizmo. Just FYI, I did go into the box earlier and just like unpackage everything so we wouldn't have to hear all of the crinkle. So it does have a little charger. Love that. And then, I mean, this is going to fit in a drawer or something. It's not going to take up a lot of space. Like I said, it's got the metal tip. It's got a positive and a negative button. So I guess you can turn up or down the heat and then an on button. But like, I love how the metal feels cool. I don't know. I'm confused, y'all. I'm confused. I'll have to let you know what I think about that. Did any of the rest of you customize that because you were curious? Let me know. Okay, the next thing that I ended up getting is kind of curious because it comes in this bag instead of a box. Now, this is a diffuser. And I love little reed diffusers in small spaces. As a matter of fact, it would probably be perfect for this office. I usually put them in bathrooms. So it comes with this bottle. It's kind of a do-it-yourself kit. It's really pretty. It's got a gold top. And then it comes with your reeds. And then it comes with a popsicle stick. I think this must be to mix um, the two other bottles that we get. So this is the all-natural reed diffuser base. Usually they do an oil base. And then this is the scent. And the scent is cashmere and vanilla. So probably what I would do is pour about three quarters of this into the bottle and then maybe a third of this. And then kind of stir it up. And then you'll put your reeds down in there. And the oil and the scent kind of travel up through the reed. You probably know what a reed diffuser is. You're probably like, Christy, I already know, but just in case. Um, and then they kind of diffuse through the air. So I love this. I think it's really, really pretty. Let's see if we can smell cashmere and vanilla. Oh, that's not what I thought at all. I don't even smell 
the vanilla, but it smells fresh. You know how you walk in somewhere and you're like, I don't know what that scent is, but it smells really good. That's what it smells like. Really nice. All right, so the next thing I ended up picking up, I've had this product twice before and I loved it. It's by Kate Somerville and it's her goat milk moisturizing cleanser. I've had her cleanser and her moisturizer. I don't have sensitive skin, but this just feels so calming when you put it on. I love just a good, basic, everyday cleanser and the fact that this is moisturizing even though this is a spring box we're still in the winter sort of season um I love that and it's a nice size Kate Somerville is super pricey and actually I can see it's filled up to about here which is nice because sometimes I've had stuff which only filled up to here so lovely grabbed that the next thing I got is by Ahava. I have not had an Ahava product in a hot minute, and this is their Dead Sea Water Mineral Shower Gel. Let me put my glasses on. It is in the scent Sea Kissed. They have the best hand and body cream. Let's see what this smells like. I didn't open this one. Oh, some came out. Oh, that's beautiful. I love having things like this. I call them little luxuries throughout the day that just, I don't know, makes your day just a little bit better. And that smells amazing. A perfect nod to like spring break, summer beach vacations. All right. The next thing that I ended up getting is by Earth Harbor. I've tried almost every Earth Harbor product, y'all. If you haven't tried their products, don't sleep on them. I think I have a discount code. If I can find it, I will link it below. But this is one of the few products that I haven't tried. I'm wondering if it's a little bit newer. It's called their Regenerative Neck Cream. They're a really small company and a lot of their ingredients come straight from the ocean and it's a family run business. Looks like this. Their products are always really pretty too. That's nice. It's almost coming out. That's what it looks like. Let's put some on the back of this hand. I always do this hand, so I'm going to switch to this hand for the next few videos. This is nice. It's almost one of those gel creams that turns to water and just absorbs really nicely. It has a slight scent, but it's not perfume. It smells more just like ingredients. That's really cooling lovely okay and then last but not least i ended up getting um this from the honest company i know there's a lot of controversy right now about clean products and what is toxic and what is non-toxic and what makes a product clean i will say honest company is one of the first companies that i remember coming out as a clean beauty brand and i don't I haven't tried a lot of their products but this one had me um curious so I like trying all different mascaras, and this one's a twofer. So one side has the primer. So you'll prime your eyelashes with this first. It turns them just a little bit white. And then you take the mascara, which is on the other side. Let's look at the wand. Oh, it's long. That's going to help to, like, separate and not give you any clumps. So this will grab onto that primer and help just make your lashes a little bit fuller and longer, I swear, by a primer. My favorite is by L'Oreal, which is not cruelty-free, so I'm anxious to see if I think this is really great. So I picked up that, and then um, those were all my customizations. Remember how I said, like, in, if this was customization number, what was this, four, but I liked another item in customization four, I could pay for an additional item. So the next three items were items that I actually paid for. The first one is this little daily planner. It was a kit. So it comes with three different things. First of all, let's talk about how stinking adorable this print is. Doesn't it look just springy? It comes with two pins, but what's cool about these pins are there's not just two colors, they're double-sided. So you get four different colors. Looks like green, kind of a a hot pink, uh, maybe like that coral color, and then a blue. And then let's take a look at the planner when you open it up. So every day, I like how it sits flat. It has a coil. Sometimes, you know, when you get a coil binder, it doesn't sit flat. This is nice and flat. It's lovely. And then this is what it looks like. It says today's plans. There's a section for to-dos, top priorities, what you're grateful for. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a bunch of cups right here. 
So you fill them up whenever you drink your water. So if you're tracking water, although if you're tracking something else like your steps, maybe every 250 steps you could mark off a glass of water or whatever it doesn't have to be water but it's that way through the whole thing so if you're just needing something to keep you on track for the day but you don't want to fill out a whole planner this would be nice kind of like a to-do list this is more what i will use it for 15 dollars, but it also comes with stickers wow these stickers are thick they almost feel like there's two or three sheets stuck together but they're not so it looks like these two are the same, more beautiful. And then we've got some like functional stickers like girls night, doctor's appointment, birthday, vacation. Oh, and these are the same, all three, which I mean, cause you get your hair, your hair done more than, you know, once a year. So I guess you need lots of different stickers for that. So there's some florals and just some useful ones. That's a great price for $15. I'm actually really, really happy with that. Okay, the next thing I got was a little lip mask. This is from NCLA Beauty. It's the Beauty Sleep Mask in the scent Birthday Cake. You're killing me. I'm so hungry right now. I love the Laneige Sleeping Mask. That one's like, what, $28 or something? So for $8, I thought we would give this a go. We, meaning me, has a little safety seal. Oh, stop it right now. I want to lick this. <laughs> it smells just like vanilla birthday cake. Oh my gosh, I have to stop. Okay, so it's nice and kind of gel-like. I don't know if you can even see it. Oh goodness, I put too much on my finger. A little dab will do ya. Gosh, this is going to last forever. Mm -hmm. It's very slick. It's probably a little more slick than maybe the Laneige is. Maybe the Laneige is a little bit thicker. I like the consistency of this. Mmm, that feels really good. I might even use this just like when you're putting on your makeup and you want something on your lips as you're putting it on. This would be perfect. Oh my gosh, it smells so stinking good. Darn you, NCLA. <laughs> okay, the next thing was a mystery item. So... I feel like you can never sleep on the mystery items. I have been getting one in almost every box now because I think they're really good. So this one was $8 when I get a tweezer with a pouch. I have to say my kids steal my tweezers all the time. I don't know what they do with them. Ooh, these are cute too. These are by Summer and Rose. Look how adorable they are. They have little like peach roses and they come with this great little case. I'm going to put this in my travel bag and that way my kids won't find them. I'll fix their little red wagons. <laughs> so that was all I got in the customization section. Now we're moving on to the refills. I only got two and I got two of the same thing. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Now I use this on clean hair. My hair is very thick and sometimes it'll just like fall and I need to add a little texture back into my hair. This does it. But if your hair's a little greasy or oily, it will also take care of that. Um, this lasts me most of a quarter. I'll usually go to like TJ Maxx or somewhere and get a big can of Batiste for like $4.99 just to fill in if I run out. But this is awesome. It's like $10 or $12 in the refills, but retail, if you were to buy this, $28. So the value is definitely there for this one. And that's why I always grab two. And then the last thing I got was the item that you could boost. I didn't write down how much I paid for this, but if you're an old school Georgia Sunshine Watcher, I'm talking like five years ago, I talked about this palette on repeat. I finally had to get rid of it because I'd hit pan on the majority of the shades, but it was also like three and a half years old. And I was like, this is probably expired. So when I saw that I could get this again, I was thrilled. I want to say I paid over $20 for this. Um, I have to say it's probably around, I don't know, I'm guessing maybe 54 and I paid 28. So they changed the packaging just a little bit. It's in this tin. They've updated it. Um, it was in a tin before. I like that. Comes with a little mirror. And then here are all the colors. I just think this is the perfect palette. You've got all those great nudes. You've got a little bit of peach, a little bit of like purple. You've got that dark shade right there. So you can smoke it out. There's a little bit of like fall in there too. I just think it's so good. And y'all, it smells like peach. Another reason that I love this palette was when my daughter was younger, like 
14, 15, 16, she was getting into makeup. Like I felt comfortable with palettes like this because you can call me a prude. I don't really care. I did not like the palettes that had vulgar names for their shadows. The names on this one are like Georgia, Cobbler, Nectar, Bellini, bless her heart. Really cute names. And I felt like I could give this to my kid to play with. And I wasn't like, oh, here's Tri Shade Orgasm. Do you know what I mean? I just think that's foul and gross. And I'm really appreciative to Too Faced for doing this palette. So that was all my picks. I think I did a really good job picking let me know what your picks are. What did you get or what did you customize that you're the most excited about? Please, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family and I'll see you soon for another video, guys. Bye-bye.